And we're back. I finally fixed my, um, well, I shouldn't say I fixed it. I got a new rudder skin um, after destroying the other one. I got the DRDT2 all set up and ready to go. I'm going to use the ruined rudder skin to practice some dimpling and make sure I have everything set properly before starting the real rudder skins because I don't want to screw up another one. Um, I got a uh, an edge turn or an edge roll on the new rudder skin after doing lots of practice runs on this one and it looks pretty good and we're gonna get back to work. And here you can see a little bit of a close-up of working with the dimpler in time-lapse. I'm pretty happy with how well this works. It's pretty reproducible and easy to use. And now I'm using the pneumatic squeezer to make dimples for the first time in the actual plane. Seems to be going pretty smoothly. I really like the DRDD2. I've got Gregory doing his favorite activity once again. Right? Yes. Let's see if I get a little bit of a close up there. So it's very exciting that Van sent me the rib that I needed to continue working on this. So we've got that deburred and ready to go. And now we're going to put the skin on the vertical stabilizer. Let's. So you may notice in a short while here that we figure out that we cannot get this thing to wrap around the leading edge of the um, ribs. And we also noticed that some of the ribs were causing some denting. So we figured out that the best way was to start at the leading edge and work your way back rather than starting on one side and flipping it over. Do you enjoy sanding? Putting things together, taking them apart, drilling them, taking them apart, sanding them, drilling them, taking them apart again. If so, you may want to build a own, your own plane. And here you can see my setup for countersinking the trailing edge wedge. It seemed to work fairly well. It's not quite as um, nice of a idea as trying to use the tool from Cleveland Tools, but it seems to do the trick. And now we're hanging things up and getting them ready to prime. We are, um, Gregory there was cleaning off everything with some MEK. And I'm using a fairly inexpensive um, HVLP spray gun that I got on Amazon, which seems to do the trick. I'm not sure that I put a deep enough um, coat on. There we go. That was not nearly enough. Enough what? Oh, that's better. So I've got to give Vans credit for this. Um, if you look at step seven, it says make sure the countersunk holes at the bottom of the rear spar doubler are facing forward. Well, guess what I did? I assembled it with the rear spar doubler countersunk holes facing backwards. I'm glad they pointed that out in their notes. <laughs> 